How you doing there folks? This is Dublin City Today. I am Sean and you guys are very, very welcome. Great to have you here. Um, yeah, it's just three o'clock here. We're on Grafton Street. Um, I'm going to show you up Grafton Street actually and we're going to leave here in just a minute. And we're going to take a walk up um, Westmore Street by Trinity College here on College Green. Um, by the Bank of Ireland, that used to be the parliamentary buildings. And um, we're going to go up um, O'Connell Bridge, over O'Connell Bridge onto the north side. We're going to go up to you know, check out the Spire in O'Connell Street, the GPO. Then we're going to take a look at Henry Street where a lot of busking goes on. Um, and I'm going to try and uh, get down there and um, record some of the buskers over the next while. So let's see if I can reverse this. Sorry if I can't read your messages, guys, because I'm trying to um, take a look at everything around me and uh, get this screen fixed. So, if I'm not answering your messages right now, I'm very sorry. Um, my nephew, Kieran, actually should be managing them right now. Um, so let me turn this around. Okay. This is Grafton Street here, guys, that you're looking up. This is the street where most of them happen. And Dublin City Today really was born on this street. At the moment, um, with Stray Melody are playing here at the end. They're just about to finish up. So this is the south of the city. What we're going to do now, we're going to go this direction to the north of the city, moving away from Grafton Street. So over here, we used to have the uh, Molly Malone statue where, uh, just here, and that has been moved around the corner to a different location. And uh, this is all grab the street that comes down here. Now, over this side of the street here is Trinity College. This is where they keep uh, the Book of Kells, which is a very famous book um, written by Irish monks. It was originally, they began it in um, Iona, the Church of Iona. And um, which was the center of Irish Christianity at the time. So, this is walking down towards College Green. Again, I'm really sorry I can't read all the messages coming through because I'm trying to avoid uh, slamming into people. <laughs> I don't want to get myself into any trouble. I hope you guys can hear okay. It's actually been a really uh, showery day here in Dublin today. Uh, been a lot of rain, and, um, which is kind of normal for us. It's the usual summer. It's um, just unpredictable over here with weather. Uh, I'm gonna try and not go too fast by here because right right in front of you here is an interesting building. It's now the Bank of Ireland but the building was built in the 1930s and it used to be the parliamentary seat for the uh, British government when they ruled here in Ireland. Um, it's a dual chamber uh, specific parliament building and um, yeah, we were ruled here by the British in this building over here that you're looking at um, until the Act of Union in 1800. And then we were uh, governed um, by Westminster in London. So that there um, later on became the bank and our government buildings are elsewhere. So like I say, that uh, at one point in time was government buildings until the Act of Union in 1800. And over here, this is Trinity College that we have over here. Um, that's the entrance to Trinity College there. This is called uh, College Green that we're at at the moment. As you can see here, we have a bus coming down here, but you can see here with the rail, there's uh, trams come down here as well. And the tram system in Dublin is actually pretty new. Um, and it's, it's, it's actually really, really handy. Um, it's, it's a brilliant uh, system they have. But it's just getting used to the new uh, traffic along here is uh, kind of weird because you kind of forget sometimes to look out for the loose, you know? So, and as you can probably, you'll make out as well, Irish people don't pay too much attention to lights, <laughs> well, pedestrians, that is. You kind of, there's no, um, like you would have over in America, uh, where it's illegal to cross the road unless you have the, the correct light. You know, they call it jaywalking. Over here, there's no such law. You can pretty much go um, whenever it's safe to do so. So again, this is College Green. Back up there, again, is towards Grafton Street. So that would be south. Again, we're heading north. Up this street here is Pierce Street. Um, right up there, that's Pierce Street up there, which was named after Padraig Pierce, who was the leader of the uh, 1916 Rising. And um, we will show you the GPO, where the uh, main bulk of the uh, fighting happened during the 1916 Rising. So this is coming on to here, Westmoreland Street. Sometimes we have buskers here. Um, we will be playing at this spot at the moment. It's um, a vegan stand promoting uh, veganism Which is okay. You can promote whatever you want if you're not doing any harm. So 
Yeah, there's um, the, these vegan guys are here quite often, and like I say, sometimes you'll get buskers in that particular spot. Over across the road there, we have the Weston Hotel. Uh, let's take a look at some of these shops. Um, like I say, this street here is called Weston Moreland Street. Let me just stop for a second, see if I can read a couple of these messages coming through. Wish I could uh, see it in person. <laughs> I wish you could too. Maybe someday, you know, you'll come over and you'll visit us. So again, this is like uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, 30 of June, 3 o'clock in Dublin. And um, this weekend was Gay Pride in Dublin City as well, so I was pretty busy there yesterday. It wasn't very busy with buskers, mind you, um, but it was busy with people. Okay, so this here is Fleet Street, and F Fleet Street leads into Temple Bar. And there's um, busking down here in Temple Bar. You can see it's all cobblestones. It's a very, very, it's probably, this is actually the oldest part of Dublin. It was um, created by the Vikings um, a thousand years ago. It's very, very old. So this is the cobble streets that lead you into Temple Bar. And like I say, there is busking down there, but they can't use amplifiers because it's also a residential area. And you can't use amplifiers in the residential area. But I am going to be bringing you down here into Temple Bar over the next couple of days to show you what goes on down there. But for the moment, we'll go back to where we were, um, onto Westmoreland Street. Um, and on Westmoreland Street will bring us down onto O'Connell Bridge. And O'Connell Bridge um, is actually what separates the north side from the south side. And I actually meant to say to you, when I was showing you the, um, the Bank of Ireland that used to be the parliamentary buildings, if you take another look at that, you'll see that the windows, there's no windows, they were all blocked up, they were all bricked up. And that's because at the time that it was built in the 19, or sorry, the 1730s, there was in place at the time a window tax. So if you had any glass like windows, you had to pay tax on them. So they decided uh, they blocked them up, and that's where the expression daylight robbery came from, was uh, the window taxes. So eventually they just um, didn't even bother putting the windows in eventually. They thought it was just kind of added to the feature of the building. So that's why in Dublin, you can go around Dublin, you'll see a lot of really old buildings, and um, the windows will all be bricked up. And again, that was from the window taxes. Again, that's where the expression daylight robbery comes from. So here we're coming on to... Uh, O'Connell Bridge coming up ahead of us and like I say O'Connell Bridge is what separates the north side of the city from the south side of the city and the postal code on the north side of the city are all odd numbers and the postal code on the south side of the city are all even numbers so Dublin 1 would be north side, Dublin 2 would be south side, Dublin 3 would be north side, Dublin 4 would be south side so it's odd numbers on the north side and even numbers on the south side it's also a uh, very dangerous man here actually <laughs> so I definitely uh, yeah like I say it's uh, we kind of take our chances over here crossing roads you know but um, well, we're all adults you know you don't uh, once, the, once it's cleared to cross you can cross so this is O'Connell Bridge it's a very very wide bridge extremely wide so here is the River Liffey and I'm sorry about the wind guys um, you're probably getting a lot of wind noise here because I'm not using um, any kind of dead kitten for the microphone or anything like that at the moment. So this is heading west. So in this direction we will have America. That direction there would be England and Europe. And this would be north straight ahead of us. So we're crossing O'Connell Bridge now. Hey then. <laughs> uh, we're crossing O'Connell Bridge, which brings us over to the north side of the city. Uh, let me just show you this here. It was once known as Carlisle Bridge, it's now O'Connell Bridge. There we go, folks. So, moving swiftly on. Um, yeah, we have a lot of these um, statues from a bygone era of people that most people won't know anything about, to be honest with you, you know. Um, on the old Dublin city today, when I first started, I did a big piece on um, the statues and stuff of Dublin. Maybe if you guys want me to do anything in particular in the future, I can do that, or if there's a particular part of the city you want to see. Let me know and we'll do a tour of that. Maybe have some relatives that left Ireland a long time ago and they'd like to see um, a particular part of Dublin, how it looks today, let me know. And um, we can do that for um, your um, relatives that may have left here a long time ago. So hopefully I'm not boring you too much, guys. Uh, we will find some music in just a few minutes um, on Henry Street. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, so again, that would be down on the keys down there. 
like the tree arena there's a, a stadium down there for uh, concerts and stuff like that uh, so this is O'Connell Street and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the center of the street so you can see both sides I know it's very loud guys but uh, that's Dublin for you well I suppose that's any city for you so again that's in the direction of south where Grafton Street would be um, I'm trying to read some of these comments here but I actually can't because I'm trying to look at what is on the screen as well but like it comes coming anyway uh, like I say my nephew Kieran is uh, looking after the comment section for me while I'm doing this so um, yeah so there should be somebody there keeping an eye on the comments so this is the center of O'Connell Street here so we have this side of the street over here we have this side and you'll see um, up ahead of us we have the, the spire um, which is basically a huge enormous needle in the middle of the street and it's in the uh, place where Nelson's pillar used to be before it got blown up by the IRA um, a long time ago uh, yeah and so they put the, the spire in the middle of the street there's the Lewis going past there that's uh, the new tram system in Dublin very very clean and uh, okay. <laughs> it's a very grumpy people out there <laughs> Uh, so yeah let's see so you can see it's a fairly busy street guys even on a Sunday afternoon you know we have Easton's over here which is pretty much an institution over here where you can get all your books and your um, stationery um, all, all kinds of stuff like that over there we have a store called Penny's uh, it's actually very very good uh, you get a very reasonably priced clothing and stuff in pennies it's a really good store um, so this is a Lewis stop here this is where the tram will stop uh, right along here and again O'Connell Street would be uh, the main street in the whole of Dublin uh, this is our main thoroughfare and over here to the left we have the GPO and the GPO is the general post office and it's a um, very, very historic building. I'm not sure if any of you ever saw the film Michael Collins, but at the beginning of the film, they're bombarding this particular building here because this is where, during the 1916 Easter Rising, where the bulk of the Irish uh, volunteers um, made their stand against the um, Imperial uh, British uh, colonial establishment at the time. So this was um, Ireland's freedom began here while well, the fight for Irish freedom began well it didn't begin here it began long before but the, uh, the 16 rising was said to have turned uh, which it did uh, turn uh, the fate of the Irish people now so here we seem to be having some form of protest or something here uh, I'm not too sure what's going on here so I'm gonna cross the road here and over here actually at the GPO you can still see uh, bullet holes uh, you can see here we still have uh, bullet holes here from the uh, the 1916 rising um, so yeah this is a very 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 this building here is um, hugely significant to all Irish people and if you come to Dublin you might want to uh, check it out uh, the history of it is fascinating so here we go guys we're coming on to Henry Street so this is a street where lots of other busking happens and I'm going to start to focus on this street to bring it a little bit more to life. Uh, it's a lot like Grafton Street in its layout. Um, it's a pedestrianised street just like Grafton Street is. It's a well taken care of street, it's very clean. And like on Grafton Street sometimes I think I'm making street sweeper videos, it's pretty much the same here. There's a lot of street sweeping and it's great because it does keep the city very clean. So again guys, this is uh, Henry Street, where I will be doing some filming now, um, covering the busking scene here. At the moment I haven't seen too many buskers out here, I haven't seen any actually, but I can hear somebody. I think because it's been heavy showers and rain today, I think maybe a lot of people thought the weather was going to be worse than it is and stayed in, but we're about to find out uh, who we have down here, busker wise. And um, as you can see, there's, like the busking scene here isn't anything like Grafton Street which is something I'd like to change you know because it's a great street 
and it just doesn't seem to have the same uh, musical energy as uh, Grafton Street does. But like I say, I'd like for that to change. I would like for the whole of Dublin really to come out and show the world what a musical city we really are. You know, and um, oh, we have a busker down here that's um, getting set up. I'm not sure if I've met these guys before, I don't think I have. So we're going to take a look and um, see what's going on. So let's take a look guys, see who these are. We've got a few fans here anyway. Uh, Hello, Hey, you girls. Okay, so that's one busker I have found on uh, Henry Street so far. Uh, and like I say, this is a Sunday afternoon, so I would expect a lot more, and I'm sure there will be more down here. And um, there will be also all, all other parts of Dublin I will be uh, going to as well to catch buskers. It won't be just Henry Street, it won't be just Grafton Street. We'll be all over Dublin and the suburbs of Dublin. Like I say, I want this city to come to life. So we're coming up to 100 years old, this nation. And I would love to show, for us to show the world what we're really about. Because we're really about fun, we're really about music. And we're really about coming together. Uh, it's sort of the Irish way, you know. Um, yeah, the sun is starting to come out now. It's really, really nice. And again, I'm sorry I can't read your messages, guys, as they're coming through while I'm walking. But I just don't want to... Uh, yeah, I just don't want to clamour into somebody and, you know. Uh, I can hear somebody busking. I, oh, here we go. We got some buskers here. Oh, I think I know. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, yes. We've seen, I've seen this guy up around Grafton Street. He, he's not really busking. He's just using um, a backing track. But he has a great voice, this guy. He has a really good voice. Let's check him out here for a second. He does a great Elvis, actually. He has... Uh, he does some Elvis songs, I know he does a great job on them too. So let's hang about for a second. <laughs> How you doing, bud? I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> you gotta go for it, yeah? <laughs> Empty out them lungs first, lungs first man, yeah? <laughs> you're, not up on Gra you're not up on Grafton Street today, you know? I didn't. You're not up on Grafton Street today? Well, I've been there. You're you know, there already? I came here to charge it and then I said I was here. So ah, yeah, beautiful day for it as well, yeah. man. <laughs> beautiful. I'm wait, we're waiting for a bit of Elvis, man, yeah? Oh, yeah, always. <laughs> Good man. Let's hang on here for a second, folks. This guy's an absolute gentleman. This is a nice song, but I cannot do it. It's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> oh! Yeah. 
my humble heart I'll just say Yeah, yeah Come in my side Wait for me Wait for me I'll be coming up Wait for me My darling, I'm hungry, hungry for your touch. I love you, Lord. Well, only time. Are you liking Henry Street, guys? <laughs> I love this guy. Absolutely legend. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, so much. Wonderful ladies, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. That was so much fun. <laughs> He's brilliant. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying Henry Street so far, guys. Let's continue on down and see who else we can find, eh? Um, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, recording up around here. Um, there are some brilliant uh, buskers that I know come up here, and I haven't caught up with them yet, and I'm looking forward to doing that. So shout out to them. Any of you buskers that busk on Henry Street, Dublin City today is going to be focusing around here quite a bit. <laughs> We're going to be focusing around here quite a bit over the next while. So if you're interested in being part of our journey, we'd love to have you with us. So, um, yeah, we'll continue on down here. We'd like to say it's um, excellent shopping along here, actually. Uh, you could, every, every kind of shop you could possibly want, uh, you have down here. This is the Jervis Shopping Centre over here. Up on Grafton Street, you would have the Stevens Green Shopping Centre. On Henry Street, you have the Jervis Shopping Centre over here, um, which is actually a really, really good place. I, I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, it seems to be pretty quiet down here. We, uh, oh, we have some more people. Oh, look at who we have here. <laughs> oh my word, Regis Milan. Regis Milan, how you doing, brother? Hello. How are you? Nice we're, you. we're going live on Dublin City today. today. <laughs> how you doing, brother? I'm gonna be I'm coming. Gonna I'm gonna be coming down here more often yeah. and uh, focusing on Henry Street yeah. a little bit more, you know. So that's what it's all about, brother. Are you gonna be playing a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you want me to come back up and we'll get a bit on yeah? Excellent stuff. I see you in a bit. Cheers, Regis. Look. So that's uh, Regis Milan from Brazil. <clears throat> He's a really, really cool guy and a great musician. So I'm looking forward to um, catching up with him. And um, I haven't seen him in quite a while, so we'll make some videos of Regis. Um, so this is coming to the bottom now of um, Henry Street, guys. And um, we'll take another walk back up. Um, I'll bring you on another walk back as far as uh, Grafton Street, where I started from. And um, we, yeah, we'll call that a wrap for then. So this basically is the bottom then of Henry Street. And you're going to see a lot more happening here and um, also on O'Connell Street where I was earlier at the Spire and stuff. Sometimes there's buskers there and uh, it makes for beautiful videos because it's a beautiful street. Um, so there's going to be a lot more coming from uh, Dublin City today over the next while and um, seeing as we got to the 100,000 mark I decided that uh, it's time for Dublin City today to stretch its legs because um, it was born on Grafton Street and it's only really as a busking channel six months old. So, uh, yeah, we're just finding our legs and we're going to stretch those legs and 
check out much much more of the city and um, that we can show you and like I said earlier on <clears throat> if there is a part of the city that you would like me to um, take a look at for you that you'd like to see or maybe where your relatives um, if any of you have Irish ancestry where they come from maybe we can go up there and take a look for you and show you what it's like and um, so yeah any suggestions are more than welcome like I say I haven't had the chance to look at any of these uh, comments coming through because as you can see it's a very busy um, place and yeah I just need to be able to see where I'm walking yeah this guy is fantastic he's got a great voice actually I love him he's a lot of fun too and um, sometimes I'd see him up on um, Grafton Street but I just have it's like every time I go back to record him he's gone you know so I'm gonna make a point actually I'll uh, do some videos of this guy and we'll throw him up on the channel properly because he's a very passionate man as you can see <laughs> Yeah, that's a legend back there. Guy is an absolute legend. <laughs> so here we are heading back up, folks, towards the spire on O'Connell Street. As you can see, I mean, Dublin is a very, very vibrant place. It's a very young place. Um, it's very relaxed, chilled out. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Nobody's going to bother you. You can be who you are. And uh, yeah, people just let people be people over here. And it's a really nice place to live in that way. That is a very accepting um, sort of place, you know. And I actually, when I was growing up, there was just one pretty, one culture here, and that was the Irish, really, in the 1970s, you know. And um, it's just great to see so many different cultures come together and live together in harmony, you know. It's a beautiful thing, and I'm glad I got to see it in my lifetime. It's great to see all these cultures come together and uh, cooperate together and make the city what it is, because... The one thing I love more about Dublin than anything else is the people that are in it. It's the people that make Dublin what it is. I mean, the buildings and everything are beautiful and the history is really, really interesting and all that. And it's a great place to come and have fun. But it's the people really that make it what it is. You know, and it's always been that way. There's some brilliant characters in Dublin. And uh, anybody will talk to anybody. You could be sitting down having, having a coffee and the next thing you know, you're in a full-blown conversation with a complete stranger you never met before and you're telling them all about your life. <laughs> you know, That's just the way Dublin is. So that's Moore Street down there, guys. And Moore Street is very, very famous for selling um, fruit and vegetables. You can see all the stands and everything here. Yeah, it's uh, another cobble, uh, cobblestone street here, as you can see. We have somebody here who's, uh, I think, probably had a, a, a couple too many. Uh, so this is, like I say, Moore Street. And we have all these uh, vegetable stands, fruit stands. And uh, it's, it smells lovely up around here, actually, because they sell flowers and all that as well, you know. But I'm not going to take that whole tour up here <laughs> because it's not what I came here for. But uh, it's just, yeah, Moore Street is very well known. Um, and a lot of these streets here will have this cobblestones that you see. Um, they're very, very old because like Dublin City is uh, over a thousand years old, you know. So um, yeah, there's a lot of very old structures and stuff here. So back onto Henry Street, coming up again towards the spire, and you can see the spire there. Um, it's a definite landmark in the city centre, which you cannot miss, you know. And uh, yeah, basically it's one big joint syringe in the middle of the road some people love it some people hate it personally I, I don't have strong feelings about it either way it's uh it's pretty enough I suppose it's nice it's nice at night time it gives out a nice light and everything you know at the top and stuff and it is nice to have some sort of a landmark there uh, yeah so that was Henry Street like I say there wasn't a whole lot of busking going on here today uh, but it is Sunday and I will be coming up here again uh, during the week to get some more uh, busking and out here on O'Connell Street as well and there's another street down there Mary Street and stuff which I'm going to show you eventually as well so there's so much so many other parts of this city that I'm going to show you again some form of protest going on here hey, how are you 
So that's um, some form of protest about something that's happening in Sudan. Um, over here, uh, there's a uh, building under renovation. Um, so yeah, this is a very, very old street. Very, very famous street. And once again, that's the GPO. That's the General Post Office. And um, if you want to know the history of the GPO, it's very easy to find out. But it's a very, very intriguing history. It's, uh, yeah, fascinating. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful street at night time here, the way it's lit up and everything, and there's always um, lots happening and stuff. Uh, and then, like I say, there's uh, Temple Bar again, which I'll show you again on another uh, live feed. I'm sure a lot of people would have heard about Temple Bar. It's pretty much, Temple Bar is where pretty much every tourist comes to get drunk and listen to music, you know. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you'll see a lot of like stag parties and um, hen parties, all that kind of stuff. Basically people coming over and just getting trashed and stuff, but which is good, I don't mind that. It's, uh, but it just means, yeah, when you go down there, it's just, uh, it's a bit of a drunken mess <laughs> most of the time. But there is some good busking. Um, even if they don't have amplifiers, it's uh, still bus good busking. What I'll do actually, I'm going to sit down here for a second just to read through some of these messages that are coming through because I'd like to be able to do that. Uh, <coughs> okay, guys, I'm going to make an effort now to read some of your uh, messages if I can. Um, let's see. Irish Paul, good man, Temple Bar area. Yeah, 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 it is a tourist trap, Irish Paul. You're absolutely right. Um, Stephen Murray. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Uh, up here, the point of, uh, or is, let's see. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Um, like I say, it's very, very difficult actually for me to read some of these because I'm getting a glare from the sun, which I won't complain about because we don't get that much sun over here. Um, Stephen, take a break. <laughs> actually, it's a good idea. I'm sitting down now. Ah, BWWKH, thank you so much. It's great to have you with us. BWWKH, you've been such a great support to me over the over the last while. Uh, love Grafton Street uh, uh, so much. Yeah, I love Gravity Street too. It's where the channel was born, but we have to move on a bit, you know. Sean, don't forget to show the uh, statue. I have the great Phil in it. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I will do that, actually. Yeah, the Phil in it statue. Yeah, my brother was saying that to me as well, actually. I'd forgotten to do that, uh, which I will do. How you doing, Darren? Aaron, hey, keep it, buddy. It's good to hear from you. I think, uh, Sean, I'm happy. Uh, crazy Horse, how you doing? Uh, sorry I don't get to read, because these messages come through so fast. Uh, it's great to hear from you, Crazy Horse, but these are coming through so fast, I'm not really getting a chance to uh, read um, what they're saying, because again, like I say, I'm getting the glare of the sun here. Uh, I can, hi there, green swim. How you doing, Poland? Great to have Poland with us. Um, after that walk, I need a break after the walk, is right, yeah. Um, his man, Philomena. Philomena, yeah, Phil and his mum died there a while ago, very sad, but at least she's with Phil there now, you know. Um, I only heard that actually that uh, Philomena died recently. Very sad. Uh, that poor woman had a tragic life with her son dying so young. Such a talented, talented guy as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try cross here without getting myself killed. I'm walking again, so I can't really read the messages coming through. But each and every one of you, I uh, really appreciate it that you're being here with us. There is another street sweeper. They're everywhere. Uh, more of Dublin. So yeah, this is um, I like. I was born um, in Dublin city. I was born up by uh, Guinness's factory, up by um, uh, James's Street. Well, it was Saint Kevin's Hospital then. It's called Saint James's Hospital now. It's right beside Guinness's in uh, Liberties in Dublin. That's where I was born. Um, so I'm from the city centre in Dublin. Like this is all my my home ground, you know. And I love the city. It's a brilliant city. And like I say, the thing I love most about it is the people. It's just like, I mean, people here just have a crazy sense of humour, you know, the Irish and the Dublin in particular. Whoops, look at this, whoa, dude. Uh, oh, that was a tight squeeze. Right, so yeah, so then you'd be down the docks here. To the I better get myself across here quickly before I get myself knocked down, actually. <laughs> okay, nice. Right, so again, that would be east. That's towards Europe. That there is west, towards America. That's south, towards Grafton Street. And uh, we'll just take a walk up Grafton Street, actually. I just want to show you the fill in its statue uh, from Tin Lizzie, and then we'll uh, finish this little tour 
and um, yeah, I, I'm, actually, I'm really enjoying doing these live feed guys, it's really cool. It's just a shame I can't read all the messages as they're coming through. Right, I'm gonna run against the light here, probably get myself knocked down, but I'm doing it for a great cause. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, again, I'm sorry about the wind noise, guys, yeah, if you're getting a lot of wind noise. So, uh, Dublin's very windy today, and I don't have um, an exterior mic on this that I can put a dead kitten on to muffle the wind noise. So hopefully it's not too bad for you. Um, so again, this is back on the Westmoreland Street. We have some footprints that are kind of randomly put there. Um, uh, don't ask me. I'm only a uh, citizen. <laughs> I don't know what some of the stuff they do in the city are kind of curious. But this is the uh, the National Wax Museum here on Westmoreland Street in Dublin. Um, so if you like kind of torture stuff we have the um, Game of Thrones here as well uh, so it's a and your knight in shining armor here right so uh, this is a cool pub here as well on uh, Westmoreland Street this is the Lewis stop for the trams and uh, Cassidy's pub it's a pretty cool pub in here actually it's a very quirky kind of a pub you know yeah I like it in there actually um, so yeah this is Westmoreland Street. I'm gonna try and get myself across here without getting myself killed. And what I'll do is actually when I'm coming past this bank again, I'm gonna show you those windows that are blocked up. Um, so you'll understand what I mean when I was talking about the window taxes um, that used to be in place over here. And sure, look, we're getting taxed for the air we breathe now, like uh, tax for everything, not just windows. Um, but of course, they don't do window taxes anymore. But when they did do window taxes, everybody pretty much bricked up windows. So. All over Dublin you see really, really old buildings that will have bricked up windows because they didn't want to pay the window tax. Hence the expression, daylight robbery. So, yes, and again over there to your left further on up, that's Trinity College. A brilliant, brilliant college. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very well known uh, college. It's enormous and has the, um, an amazing, amazing library in there. It's just, in fact, the library in there was used um, for that film, uh, oh god, I can't remember the name of the film. Ready to, what's the, uh, your man with the glass? Oh god, I can't remember the name of the film, but anyway. Look, uh, so these are the windows here that were uh, bricked up. So when they were building this building here in the uh, 1730s, there was a window tax in place. Sorry about that, uh, somebody was actually trying to ring me in the middle of doing this. If, uh, if anybody's watching this video, please not ring my phone. Um, seriously, it's just like I'm, you know. Uh, so, yeah. There's um, where you have the blocked up windows because he had to pay window tax, he didn't want to pay it. Uh, and that's where the expression daylight robbery comes from. I've probably said that a few times now, but sure, just in case anybody wasn't here when they uh, heard me the first time. And so up here, uh, go, if we were to go around to the right, that would bring us onto Dame Street and towards um, Christchurch. Um, yeah, uh, and City Hall would be up there as well, and Central Bank. So straight down there is Dame Street, leads you onto Lord Edward Street, leads you onto Christchurch, leads you onto Thomas Street, up by Guinness's factory. So there's the uh, the Lewis coming past Trinity College. Uh, and here we come back up onto Grafton Street. So you can see the sign up here that actually says Grafton Street. And this is a pretty cool place, the Irish Whiskey Museum. And for anybody who likes their whiskey, you get some pretty good whiskey along here. <coughs> this is where I get my uh, my coffees, Butler's Chocolate Cafe. They do amazing co coffees and stuff. Oh, I get my mocha from in there all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice coffee they do in there. So, again, that's all Trinity College here, guys. We're coming back up towards Grafton Street. I'm not going to stop listening to any buskers, I'm just going to uh, go past them and show you them and then I'm going to go up to the Phil Linnett statue where we will finish this tour and Phil Linnett statue is by Brus uh, Brussels pub and Phil Linnett was the lead singer of Thin Lizzy and uh, he's an absolute legend here in Ireland which is why he had a statue made after him and his mother, uh, God bless her, Philomena died not so long ago so she's with her son rocking it out right now as we speak so 
I can hear Amy Moore and singing. So this is us coming back on the Grafton Street, guys. We're back over the south side of the city once we come over O'Connell Bridge. And we're now officially on Grafton Street. Amy Moran is playing here at the moment. I'm not sure who else is here. Um, hey, Amy. Hey, you doing? What's up, Sean? <laughs> What's up, Amy? <laughs> so that's Amy Moran, guys. Um, and we have uh, somebody here who's doing art. If you want to get your portrait taken, you can get your portrait done there. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, Grafton Street again, guys. And here we have Declan on spoons. How you doing, Declan? It's good to see you, buddy. Well, good man. I'm just going, I'm just going live here. I'm going to be finishing up now in a couple of minutes. So I'm just introducing there, they're Dublin, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm pretty good. We're just after being up there in Henry Street, introducing everybody to Henry Street and O'Connell Street. Listen, listen. A crowd of black women were down there yesterday. Yeah? Come here, listen. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they said to you, if there's a god, it's you. <laughs> That's nice of them, man. Fair play. Yeah. Well, you are the man, Declan. <laughs> Go on, talk to you later, bud. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Right, so that's Declan. He was saying that some African people told him he was God. Um, it's always nice. Um, nobody ever tells me I'm God. I have to keep telling people I am. Well, Anyway, <laughs> actually I thought I'm just kind of running out of things to say, I must be. Uh, so it's starting to rain now, which is a bit unfortunate, but we are coming to the end of our tour. And here we have uh, Maria and Lisa, how you doing girls? We're just going on live, good to see you. Here we have Jenko, Paul Jenkinson. So there we have uh, Paul Jenkinson there playing, uh, being watched on by Lisa and Maria who many of you will know from an interview we did of them before. Uh, they've been a brilliant support to the buskers out here. They've even done some duets with them and stuff. So, yeah, great girls from Germany. We love them. So, yeah, like I say, we're going to come up to the um, statue of Phil in it in just a moment. I think it's important to show you that because he, um, as a Dubliner, we love Phil in it. And, uh, yeah, the statue that was there for him was very deserving. Yeah, here comes the rain, guys. This is not good. I might have to dive in out of here for just a second if I can. Um, <laughs> I'm going to come down this lane right here actually. Because I, I just don't want to get drenched. Or I don't want my phone to get drenched. Uh, let me just see if there's shelter. I can get a tiny bit of shelter here guys. I don't want to go right into their church. But oh, look at this. This is a little bit of a church that is just off Grafton Street. I don't want to actually hang out here because it's probably a bit disrespectful to be... Uh, Dodging from the rain there. What I'll do is I'm just going to brave the rain for a minute and get myself around to the fill-in statue. I know you guys probably can't see the rain because it's not raining all that much to be honest. It's just that with my uh, this camera just doesn't like rain. Um, but then not many cameras do. So here we are. There's a magician here that plays but I don't focus on the magicians because again they like it to be um, a surprise for when people roll up they don't want me to be filming them to reveal what they do okay we have some guy here who's uh, who's got very cheeky uh, yeah very cheeky indeed so um, so this is us we're gonna come around here over here is Anne Street South and around here is where the Phil Linnett statue is on Harry Street and we have the Albert Ross Foundation uh, here at the moment and here is the Phil Linnett statue guys so this is Phil Linnett and Phil Linnett was the lead singer of Tin Lizzy an absolute gentleman a legend and a great guy from all accounts from every, all the people I know who met him uh, he died in 1986 when I was only 15 years old. And you come past here, people leave flowers. They leave these little plaques here. Oftentimes the people will leave a pint here, a drink for them, or whiskey or whatever. You know, they'll leave a drink for them. Um, so yeah, I wanted to finish up here uh, with Phil in it. And then we have Brussels pub just here. We have McDade's pub just over there. And we have the Westbury Hotel just here. And again, this is the Albert Ross Foundation, which many of you will have seen the Albert Ross Foundation here before. Uh, 
they're a great bunch of guys. Um, okay, guys, I reckon uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see if they're going to do anything here. Right, guys, it's starting to rain here, so I have to, uh, I have to stop. So, listen, guys, thanks a million for joining me. I really, really appreciate that, and I'll chat to you all in a while. Okay, folks, once again, thank you very much for joining me. This has been Dublin City Today. We will go live again. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care for now. Bye-bye.